Hello, welcome back dear all. Today we are going to discuss about the uh, how to display the wetland and the rivers. These are the two legends displaying here. Uh, first we are going to discuss about the script. Uh, the script is basically war, ROI. This is a, a region of interest. Simply you can draw on in the variable that I am importing here is the land set 8 level 2 collection. If you want to import this collection, you simply type here the land set. And you can see that the all collection are appear here. Then set 8, 8, 9, 11, 1, level 2, collection 2, and so on. So the next step is the function to cloud mass and the generate M and DWI modify normalize difference water index. So the function is here. The first is a pre-process function, then delete it, then these are the threshold values. And I'm going to explain this function. The script is defined as a function named pre-process that takes an image input, it extracts the QA qualitative assessment band from which the image input it defines the flag range and a different type of the pixels such as the deleted, curious, cloud, and the shadows. Okay, the next one is uh, it applies the mass to input. Uh, it there is a mass variable. It applies the mass to input image, selecting the specific band related to the surface reflectance and the scale, the values. It calculate the modified normalized difference watt index. That is also called uh, M and DWI using a formula green minus short wave infrared divided by the green plus short wave infrared. The result is cloud mask it image with the and M and DWI. Okay, the next one is filtering and mapping. The script filters the lens at edge image based upon the region of interest and a specific treatment. It applied a pre-process function in the image collection using a map function. The third step is the visualization the map layer. The script is uh, visualized uh, uh, visualize the subsequent map layer. It calculates the median composition of the pre-processed collection and the clip to it a specific region of the address. It has the median of the composition image to the map and the specific visualization the parameters and add up a layer displaying the MD and DWR from the median composition cover pattern it identified the MD and DWR with the 0.4 permanent water or river add the this layer 0.4 as in a permanent water, uh, as in a permanent water river add to the layer, the set fourth step is about uh, the maximum composition of a wetland in elevation. The script is calculated the MDWR across the image 98% uh, percentile then clips the region of the entrance. It adds the MDWI in the air visualization parameter and identifies the wetland across a pixel greater than zero, where the pixel parameter I greater than zero. And uh, the legend creation, then uh, this one is the legend creation here. The script create a legend to display the color code of the river in the wetland area. It is usually panel to organize and display the color code along with the corresponding label. Adding a label finally uh, adds to generate the label meeting composition MDWI in a permanent water or a river maximum MDWI wetland. Adds legend on the map. So uh, I'm going to summarize this complete code. The script is seen to be a focus to analyze the water body in the river and the wetland using a land set AT imagery, MD and DWI and DIX in the Google Earth Engine environment. It combines a cloud masking technique with a water index computation and visualize the result on a map and the legend. Now we are uh, click on the simply run button and uh, show the resulting here. These are all layers that are made in this uh, panel. I'm going to uh, break the screen. First, we are going to see the satellite imagery. This is uh, the area of uh, Islamabad, and uh, this one is a KPK Kashmir and Punjab and uh, Azal Jammu Kashmir. Here, these are the my two legends. Uh, these are the satellite imagery, and this one is a simple map. So you can see, I'm uh, going to clip this area. This is my ROI. So now I'm going to check out the first layer uh, the first is a median image this is the image that I display here it takes uh, time in the loading so don't uh, worry about it this is the uh, median image with uh, you can clearly see that this is the river area uh, here okay this is the uh, ROI complete ROI you can also use a shape file instead of ROI I'm just using uh, this polygon for your understanding the next one is a median MNDWI 
normalize uh, modify normalize difference per index so i'm going to uncheck this layer and uh, this layer is loading you can uh, clearly see that this is the river and uh, the other area is another uh, another land type so the next one is the permanent water or a river layer so i'm going to check this permanent water or a river layer this is the permanent water uh, in our area i displaying here uh, this is also permanent water this is also permanent water now i'm going to max m n d w i okay the max n d w i layer is also loading the permanent water or river layer is also in loading so it takes uh, one to two seconds it depends upon your internet connection speed uh, so i'm going to change it from there so you can visualize clearly both layers and this layer is about for wetland that are representing in this color uh, this one is uh, permanent water or river and this is the max ndvi layer so when we go to uncheck this you can see there is no any water appearing here because these are the this is only the permanent water in this region and this is the max and dvi that are representing in this region this is also water so this is the wetland there uh, so i'm going to uncheck this one you can see is that this is the wetland uh, this is also a wetland. This is a permanent water. You can uh, click on this image and see all layers are here. These are all the final layers. You can distinguish between in this way by seeing the color. This is the permanent water and uh, here is you can see is the wetland layers. Okay. I hope you understand this script. I will share the uh, explanation of this script in the description of video for your uh, understanding. Thank you so much all of them.